our entrance antiphon. O God, when you went forth before your people, marching with them and living among them, the earth trembled, heavens poured down rain. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who for the salvation of the world brought about the Paschal sacrifice, be favorable to the supplications of your people, so that Christ, our High Priest, interceding on our behalf, may by his likeness to ourselves bring us reconciliation, and by his equality with you free us from our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the court officers had brought the apostles in and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them, we gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name. Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, we must obey God rather than men. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus. Though you had killed him by hanging him on a tree, God exalted him at, the, at his right hand as leader and savior to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things as is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they became infuriated and wanted to put them to death. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The, the Lord, Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times, his praise shall ever be in my mouth. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress he rescues them. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all the Lord delivers him. The Lord, the Lord hears the cry of the poor. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. You believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen but still believe. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. The one who comes from above is above all. 
The one who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of earthly things. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, but no one accepts his testimony. Whoever does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy. For the one whom God sent speaks the word of God. He does not ration his gift of the Spirit. The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, but whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God remains upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In our uh, everyday, daily life, we use a, a lot of different things, don't we? From computers, to cars, to cell phones, um, on and on, just different things that we use just to get by. And we make use of these things without even having any idea how they actually work, right? We just see the results and the effects of their use which is actually very similar to our Christian life. Because most of the time, we're really not sure how faith in God works. But the beautiful thing is that people of faith show how faith works simply by living their transformed lives. Because people of faith have literally transformed the definition of obedience. Because for, for most of the world, obedience is considered like a leash, uh, a limit placed on their freedom, right? But that's not what obedience means to the people of faith. Because to people of faith, obedience is understood in the biblical sense, as in listening, to the Word of God, and then freely making the choice to act in accordance with God's will. And that's what Peter meant in our first reading today, by being obedient to God. Because it's an obedience that comes from listening to the promptings of the Holy Spirit, believing in it, even though that comes with risks and difficulties and then finally acting on that with love. And then the person of faith continues to testify through their obedience so that those things and those people of earth can be reminded of those things that are above. Now, unfortunately, lately, the things of earth have given us uh, quite a bit to think about uh, in addition to the things of above, right? We're now thinking about our health in ways that go far beyond what we're supposed to eat to keep our cholesterol down. We're thinking about our wealth uh, and we're hoping that we have enough saved to get us through the craziness. And then we get to thinking about our relationships, our marriages, our parents, our children, and in all of our loved ones. And then now again, uh, we might think about the afterlife, which is a little strange to only think about that every now and again, because the afterlife is eternity, as compared to this life, which is just merely temporary. And in our gospel today, John tells us that anyone who believes in Jesus has eternal life. But eternal life doesn't begin after death. Because in fact, eternal life begins with this life, right? With the here and the now, right? And it's not just saying that we believe in Jesus. Because to believe is to obey and then follow the truth that Jesus has taught us. Now, I'm in no way trying to make light of our current situation and the current crisis that we're all experiencing. 
But there is no doubt that after this crisis passes, and it will pass, but once that's done, the cares and the concerns of this world will continue to engage our hearts and our minds. And the voices of this world will continue to try and convince us that the glitter and the glamour of this world is what we really need. But again, as Peter reminds us in our first reading, obedience to God comes before obedience to man. So as you go about the rest of your day, take comfort in the words from John in our gospel. Anyone who believes in Jesus has eternal life. But then remember, to believe in Jesus means to obey his teachings. So set your heart and mind to the things that are above, not the things of earth. Confident in the Lord's love and plan for us, we lift up our needs to him. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for Archbishop Lucas, Bishop Hannafeld, Bishop Connolly, and all of those who lead and guide us in the church, that they continually be inspired by the example of the early Christian community of faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in positions of leadership in nations around the world, that they work for peace and justice, casting aside ways of violence and oppression. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are entrusted with the care of the sick and the elderly, that they remain faithful in their ministry and find strength from our Savior, risen from the dead. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are on the front lines of this pandemic, especially our healthcare workers and first responders, for all who are unable to stay at home but must work to provide for their families, may God continue to protect them and keep them in good health. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all of us, gathered in our homes or wherever we are listening or watching this Mass, may we know the peace of the Lord that banishes all fear. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick. May the risen Christ visit them with healing power and new hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a swift and decisive deliverance from the coronavirus and all other illnesses. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they live forever with Christ in the glory of his resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, give us a share in the loving obedience of your Son, Jesus, that we might follow you, that we might listen to you, that we might act upon your holy word, and to hear these prayers through that same Savior, your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our Masses today are being offered for the deceased members of the Jankowski family and for the repose of the soul of Lyle Freeburg. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. 
through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace of Christ be with you. With your spirit. Peace of Christ be with you. With your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that, that you should, should enter, enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my, my soul shall be healed. Body and blood of Christ. Amen. Our communion antiphon. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Hallelujah. For our brothers and sisters who are unable to physically receive the Eucharist, we offer our prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus. I believe that you are in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you have already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, we restore us to eternal life and the resurrection of Christ. Increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of the saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We now continue to ask for the protection of St. Joseph during this time of crisis. The prayer to St. Joseph. To you, O blessed Joseph, do we come in our tribulation. Through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the paternal love with which you embrace the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood, and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O our most mighty protector, be propitious to us, and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. And, as once you rescue the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's children from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield to each one of us by your constant protection. Amen. If you're watching us on one of your devices, a phone or a tablet through the YouTube channel, you'll see an arrow down below or a little triangle. If you just touch on that, click on that, it will drop down and reveal the prayer of spiritual communion and the prayer to St. Joseph in case you'd like to look for that and pray that with us. Thank you for joining us this day. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.